Hello, all my truth seekers. Welcome to the Truth Show. I hesitated to make this video because I got tired of explaining Kanye's actions. It's nerve wracking, but I will try and explain his actions once again. Please note that this is all alleged. I've never met any of these people. I've deeply researched all of my information. See that look in my eye, ain't gonna stop anytime soon. Roll up while I cry. Here we go again. I mean, this is true show, and there's more. Oh, I'm not, and there's more. Oh, I'm not done yet. I mean, this is true show. This is a trigger warning. In this video, I may be talking about or showing sensitive material about some subjects or topics that may be disturbing or upsetting or may bring forth some troubling memories, as you read in the description or title. With that said, either in the video now or brace yourself. Aside from that, enjoy. As most of you know, the infamous Kanye has done some questionable things, and they usually have some reason behind it. Okay, to understand his shirt, we must look deeper. It seems that Kanye was making a statement when he staged a surprise Yeezy fashion show on Monday in Paris, showcasing his season nine collection to much fanfare. Before the models appeared, Wes gave a speech wearing a White Lives Matter t-shirt. Yeah, emblazoned with the Pope's face on the front and the identical bedazzled flip-flops he sported last week. He referenced his ex-wife Kim Kardashian's 2016 Paris robbery, his former manager Scooter Braun, the struggles he faced entering the fashion industry, his recent fallout with Cap, and much more. That's what he says. I am ye, and everyone here knows that I am the leader, he said at one point, referencing his new legal name, and he says, you can't manage me. Before the show, ye teased some of the famous models expected to make appearances, Kim Kardashian, ex-girlfriend Irina Shayk, and current flame Candace Swinepoel, as well as other <laughs> big names such as Beyonce, Rihanna, Angelina Jolie, Lauren Hill, Naomi Campbell, Emily Ratajkowski, Giselle Bouchard, Bella Hadid, Amelia Gray Hemlin, and so on. However, only Shake Campbell and Hemlin appeared with the Russian model watching from the side as the other two walked the runway. Some of the models in the show wore the same shirt and bells with White Lives Matter on the back, while fans on social media reacted. This is what some of them said. Sending a White Lives Matter t-shirt down a runway in Paris is literally insanity. And no amount of gospel is getting that man through this alleged heaven's gate. I put alleged there. I am so sorry. <laughs> that one person tweeted. That's what the person tweeted. Another wrote... Mind you, Kanye was just calling Kim and Chris the KKK two weeks ago, and now he's wearing a White Lives Matter shirt? Okay. Then many people brought his trip to the White House, where he wore a MAGA hat. And years earlier, in 2013, he wore the Confederate flag on a jacket. I can go on and on, but I think you all get the picture. Meanwhile, as usual, the Kardashians are trying to dissociate themselves from him. Hence, Chloe's sneaky ass who is always playing a victim. You know what? Let's read Chloe for a second. <clears throat> yes, Kiki is in full effect. When you two got together, Lamar was married and in a relationship. You drove him crazy. And don't get me started on the rumors of what happened to his best friend who mysteriously died of alleged overdose. Tristan may be a lying sack of shit and word on the street, God in the bedroom. I mean, the man got skills in the bedroom. And pack it and hang alone making this alleged Pete look average, which by the way, water on the street, Ariana Grande lied about his size just to make him feel better because she dumped his ass after three months of dating. He is not packing, that is just a fucking rumor. I just want to point that out, just saying. Here's the many women and also you not being able to leave Tristan alone. Getting back to Tristan now. But he never hid that he was a hoe and a player. He made that abundantly clear. Anyone who knew him knew he was a hoe and a player. I believe he was still messing around with his baby mama when you met him, by the way, along with many other women. This part of you stealing men from other women and later losing them the way you got them is just fucking karma. Let's be realistic here. So please stop playing the fucking victim. You are not the victim. You're the snake. You know what? I'm not done yet. 
I have to say this to the black culture gaslighting hoo ha's you stuck up plastics wouldn't have been invited to the damn fashion show week without Kanye. He elevated you plastic injected silicones. Sorry, I know I said I wasn't going to say anything, but this pissed me off. And you know what? Okay, sorry. I had a moment. With that said, when Chloe decided to put her two cents into Kim's go digging life, saying this, and I'm reading this via the post. Ye, I love you. I don't want to do this on social media, but you keep bringing it here. You are the father of my nieces and nephews, and I'm trying to be respectful, but please stop tearing Kimberly down and using our family when you want to deflect. Again, with the birthday narrative, enough already. We all know the truth, and in my opinion, everyone's tired of it. You know exactly where your children are at all times, and you wanted separate birthdays i have seen all the text to prove it and when you changed your mind and wanted to to attend you came like you have pointed out yourself she is the one taking care of your kids 80 percent of the time please leave her and the family out of it so that the kids can be raised peacefully i come from a place of love and i'm happy to continue this conversation privately if you wish and Kanye responded to this, you are lying and are liars. Y'all basically kidnapped Chicago on her birthday so she could remember her father not being there. Trav gave me the address of the child's party. That's how y'all play with black fathers. Y'all also threw a party before Psalm's birthday when I was flying back from Japan to be there for his birthday. And the first I heard about it was seeing pictures of the party online. Also, I should see my children 100% of the time, but since there is a separation, it should have been 50% of the time. Y'all wouldn't have played with Donda like that in Jesus' name. I must say, Kanye was telling the truth despite his latest shenanigans. Anyway, many people are saying that he only wore the shirt for attention, mockery, and to make a statement. Because days before that, he gave an interview saying that blacks needed to own their own merch and factory. up check this out y'all um i am not about to be addressing every last thing that's going on in the world on the internet um but the thing i do have to address is this white lives matter t-shirt um i've always been there and i will always support my brother kanye as a free thinker but the white lives matter t-shirt i don't rock with it you know what i'm saying i'm not with it and with the press and with fashion is doing, thinking it's a joke. But right now, all America has planned for us is poverty, incarceration, and death. So before I could get to any other lives matter, which all lives matter, you know what I'm saying? That black lives matter, don't play with it. If you can't, don't, don't wear the shirt, don't buy the shirt, don't play with the shirt. It's not a joke. Um, he did a runway show. He put white lives matter. Every life matters. White, Asian, Latino, black, Jamaican. Every life matters. Right. But he does this thing where he likes to be provocative. And that's cool most of the time. But this ain't a go. And so what I'm saying is, the term Black Lives Matter is to shed a light on the voiceless. Um, and so we rallied together behind Black Lives Matter. I never knew who ran the organization. I didn't even know it was an organization. And so, yeah, there's a scandal going on with the people who ran it. But that's not why we wrote Black Lives Matter on our Instagram and put it on our lawn and put it, we put it because Black Lives Matter. They're just as important as anyone else. And so, Kanye fucked up this time. I'm not going to lie to you. You know, I love him to death. Uh, I never go against him. But this time, this, this, come on, bro. And then, uh, he gets on there and say, you know, Black Lives Matter says, you know, 
You know, yeah, I can't fuck with you with this one. I can't. I went to church for you. I did everything you asked me to do as a loyal fan. But this one, I can't co-sign. And then he had Candace Owens with Like, I can't do it yet. I love you. This is the one time I can't fuck with him. I can't. Ye White Lives Matter is a comment on the status quo. Ye's Black Lives Matter is a comment on how society frames independent revolutionary actions into a limited space of grand narratives. When an artist like Ye challenges those framed spaces in a dialectical way, he is persecuted. He puts the grand narratives at risk. Black Lives Matter is an example of a movement that oppressors tolerate commercialize and use to cleanse themselves from international historical guilt. When Yee says that Black Lives Matter is a scam, he means that nothing really changed. Blood still covers the sidewalks. Yee proves that if artists have an opinion in territories, they are unknown and new. Like any true revolutionary, they are assaulted. Ye is an artist. Ye cares about all lives, all people, and he is working against all oppression. Ye is an artist with independent power. Grand narratives created by politics and media will always be in conflict with the artist. The artist is ultimately above the grand narratives. I get it. So what can we deduce from this? Has he gone too far or is he playing the game to kill the game finally within the game? Well, it seems that he's saying that Black Lives Matter was a scam because blood is still being spilled. Only white lives matter. I must say that I can't believe I'm saying this and I'm about to say this. Kanye may be a musical artistic genius, but he's a little naive in the struggle of an ordinary black person. Heck, a person in general. He doesn't know the struggle. I remember Jay-Z said in an interview that Kanye was not raised like most rappers. He doesn't know the struggle. Not to mention he was the only child. I know because my daughter is an only child. Being the only child, your maturity level is higher than the norm because you usually hang around adults and your social skills are not conducive to an ordinary individual. You will often come across as a dictator, a bully, conceited, and sometimes narcissist without trying to. I believe that Kanye needs a therapist, yes, because I sense the hurt and meaning of his actions. He has a love-slash-hate relationship with Kim, and that's normal. He loves her, and then he hates her. We've all been there. Hell, I'm still there. A therapist will be good so he can get his feelings in order and learn how to express himself without coming across as a bully or coming across as some vindictive person or cruel, you know, so he can make sense of his emotions. I do understand why he wore the shirt now and I don't go against it. I'm not going to wear it, but I do understand it. And I think this message needs to be put out a little bit more. Maybe I create a meme and you guys can share it because he's been persecuted by his own people when he was simply just making a message. Well, that's it. Let me know what you all think below. And don't forget to subscribe, share, and like, and hit that bell so you get notifications when I do post more videos. Love you all. See you later.